Siamo qui con Haitam Kayali e parleremo di Prosper Palestine, l'associazione, la campagna della quale fa parte e delle sue, delle sue intenzioni, dei suoi obiettivi e ovviamente collegando, ricollegandoci anche a tematiche palestinesi attuali e future. How is Prosper Palestine born and uh, what are its main aims? Um, ok, uh, well, Prosper Palestine was inspired by a local campaign in Palestine that was conducted over the last uh, year and a half, which is uh, called uh, the Karami campaign, which means dignity in, in, uh, in English. The Karami campaign was established by both the Palestinian government and the Palestinian private sector, but then led by uh, the uh, Palestinian grassroots students and, and, and so on, with the aim of uh, improving uh, our economic situation uh, in uh, Palestine uh, to a state where uh, we can be uh, or we can build a Palestinian state upon. Um, the number one thing we wanted to do was get rid of the major obstacle uh, standing uh, in our way uh, of building the economy and that is uh, the economy of settlements. So. The Karame Fund aims to end uh, any economic ties uh, with settlements in Palestine, and we were uh, successful in doing so by the end of 2010. Afterwards, of course, we turned towards the international community, which states that settlements are illegal and they are uh, the main obstacle uh, to, uh, the, to peace. Um, yet, uh, while this is the official uh, political stance of governments, um, their economic behavior contradicts that by having uh, economic ties with settlements, therefore prolonging occupation and uh, expanding settlements. Um, so Prosper Palestine aims to end economic ties w between European countries as a first step and settlements uh, and replace them uh, with economic ties with Palestine if the EU is really interested in supporting a Palestinian state being developed. So, um, we, we speak many times about the, the political rights and the, the civil rights of the Palestinians, but there isn't so, uh, a great focus on the economic rights of the Palestinian people. Do you think that this loss of, um, of, con of conscience about the economic rights of the Palestinians is linked also to a uh, wrong, um, wrong um, context of, of uh, history, a wrong is historical context in some way? Look, it's very, yes, I mean, there is, there is misperception here. Um, I want to make clear that occupation of the West Bank is all about, uh, it, it, it's all a business. It's there for economic reasons. Um, we always had uh, the understanding that settlers who are living in the West Bank are uh, individuals who live there for uh, religious or ideological reasons. However, it really uh, developed now into uh, them being there because of the economic incentives that they are getting. And uh, settlements uh, are built on around 2% of the West Bank, but as a result, they control over 50% of the West Bank. That means that they are uh, maintaining a grip on uh, Palestinian land, water, resources, and so on. It's all pouring into their economy. So occupation is a business, uh, and it's very important that uh, partnerships with this occupation uh, are ended. Um, so, yes, there is a very, very uh, lack of understanding on how behavior has to be when it comes to economic ties with our area. Uh, again, Palestine, Palestine can, can produces and can produce uh, a lot more wonderful uh, things and, and products and services. Um, if, again, the EU is serious about building a Palestinian state, it will support Palestine not by aid, money, but by economic ties uh, with Palestine. 
Do you think that the agreement between the, the main parties, Hamas and Fatah, the recent agreement, could lead to could su could support the, um, the aims of the possible Palestine? And uh, do you think that this agreement could uh, be um, a strong one in uh, the context of a, of a, of a, short, of a low um, international support and in consideration of the vote of the um, UN Assembly in, uh, in uh, the upcoming fall? Obviously, uh, I, I think that unity is uh, uh, a major goal that we must have within Palestine, yes. Uh, as long as there is division, uh, it is making uh, our position much weaker as, as Palestinians. I don't necessarily think that the main parties should agree on every single detail. Uh, this is very normal for political parties around the world to disagree. Uh, and that's the whole idea of why political parties exist. It, I mean, it's, it's much easier, in my opinion, to get Hamas and Fatah to agree on details than it is to get the Republicans and Democrats in the U.S. to agree on details. Yet, it's uh, very important that the way that uh, this disagreement is being handled uh, is through respecting the vote of the Palestinian people uh, through democratic ways and, ver and, and away from violence. Um, yes, again, unity will help us in any project that we have, including uh, our uh, mission to go uh, and seek state recognition uh, in September. Do, uh, we have seen uh, some uh, campaigns in the recent years, like also the boycott, disinvest in Section 1. Uh, do you think that through this campaign there is a kind of a changement in the public opinion idea of the so-called uh, so, so -called, I mean, conflict uh, between the Israeli and the Palestinian? Or uh, we, we, have, we, have, we don't have still a changement of, uh, of opinion in the public opinion, also in consideration of events like the, uh, fl fl like the flotilla one, uh, one uh, last year? Look, I mean, if all, all the, the campaigns uh, and means of struggle that you just mentioned, and uh, among others, are all non-violent campaigns that Palestinians and pro-Palestinian groups are uh, conducting. Uh, yet, unfortunately, we still get um, uh, lots of obstacles placed by governments like the U.S. when it comes and says, it's illegal for flotillas to head towards uh, Gaza, even though everybody knows that the, 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 the siege of Gaza is what's illegal. Um, and when you know the U.S. starts um, uh, threatening with cutting off aid, if we continue to go uh, to the United Nations seeking recognition and, and, and membership in the UN, uh, and again, of course, it threatened to cut off aid if we uh, have any kind of reconciliation between Hamas and Fatah. Look, these are these are all uh, nonviolent ways of, of resisting. It's it's quite it's always uh, existed amongst Palestinians, but it's becoming more and more clear. Also, the issue of refugees marching towards the borders, wanting to enter the borders, uh, like you mentioned, all the campaigns. These are all nonviolent campaigns that are calling for something that is legitimate, that is calling for ending occupation, which is illegal, according not to Palestinian law, but to international law. International law says that a Palestinian state uh, should exist. It says that uh, settlements are illegal and occupation is illegal. Therefore, what is contradicting uh, international law uh, are official government positions and not uh, the uh, campaigns that are being conducted by uh, groups that are, that are basically working for peace in the Middle East through a two-state solution uh, and, of course, uh, directly uh, building a Palestinian state. Speaking of uh, non-violent um, resistance, non-violent opposition, I would like to ask you um, about how it's possible for, uh, um, to, to, to help, to support possible Palestine, and also I would like to ask you uh, uh, your uh, opinion about the legacy of, uh, of, um, of Vittorio Arrigoni. Yeah. Um, first of all, uh, Prosper Palestine comes here and offers uh, very uh, thorough research 
into what economic ties exist between uh, European countries and settlements. Okay, and these economic ties include, of course, uh, importing uh, settlement products into European countries, but also the investment of European countries and funds and uh, various businesses in uh, settlement companies. Um, so we do have a chapter that we brought here uh, on Italy. It's available on our website www.prosperpalestine.org and we basically encourage all supporters of peace and of a two-state solution uh, and of building a Palestinian state to first of all issue a call uh, or adopt the Prosper Palestine call which calls on ending economic ties with settlements and replacing them with those of, of Palestinian origin and number two to approach the companies that are selling settlement products here, the supermarkets and the, 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 the different uh, resellers who are uh, uh, listed in our research of course and prolonging occupation and expanding settlements. So for instance I was coming on Alitalia and I was offered in, in, in my meal a type of biscuit that is uh, being made on settlements. I have every right that the money that I pay Alitalia goes to ethical channel, through ethical channels and ethical means and I don't want to pay for the expansion of settlements but Alitalia is forcing me to do so and it's not its right. It, there is no legal basis that, that gives it the right to do so. And this is the case for all other companies, all other uh, supermarkets here who are selling uh, these products. So I urge all our supporters to approach these resellers, these supermarkets with letters um, expressing uh, opposition to uh, what they are doing. When it comes to uh, Vittorio, um, he's, he's our hero. He's, he's, uh, uh, his, his message uh, will always, his, uh, I think, go on. He will always be in our hearts. Uh, we hold every respect for him and all the things that he did. Um, again, we consider him a Palestinian hero as well as an Italian uh, hero. And he was there because he understood uh, the hardships uh, that Palestinians were going through. He understood how inhumane occupation is. And he actually wanted to take uh, practical measures in opposing it. We have been hearing a lot of uh, wonderful words from different countries, from politicians and so on, but they uh, remain to the extent of nothing more but words. Uh, and right now it's time for people to translate those words into practical action. And this is what the Prosper Palestine campaign is about. Change your position from not, on, not only um, uh, opposing settlements into actually doing something about it uh, in terms of your economic behavior. And this is also what the September campaign for recognition of a Palestinian state is about. It will show who is really with us and who is against us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Sure. But it was uh, nice of the gentleman <laughs> to, you know, pass by. <laughs>